Rebecca has never met anyone like Renfield in a world where I think she is really, you know, she's quite disillusioned with everything that's going on around her. I think inside she wants justice, she wants to do what's right, but she doesn't go about that well. Whereas Renfield also shares that quality where he wants to do what's right, but he, uh, you know, is, is weak and hasn't left, you know, this, this horrible toxic lifestyle. Aquafina, yo, this movie is fantastic. It might be my favorite movie of the year so far. It is incredible. Oh, it mixes, it mixes, it's it's just a, a mixed genre blending, if you will. Um, I love the comedy, the action, the horror. Uh, but look, I love the comedy action and vulnerability you bring to your role. Uh, can you talk about finding the balance and uh, knowing when uh, when the top or, or knowing just Rebecca in general, just finding that balance for her? I've never really done a movie like this. I've never done a horror movie. And I was really, you know, impressed and, and, and you know, pleasantly surprised to find that it really is, it does lend itself to so many other different kinds of of, of genres. And I think for me, like for, for the character of Rebecca, she is kind of like more of a straight guy than I've played um, in the past. She's very angry, but there is, there is like, you know, there, there is definitely comedy there, but, but yeah, I really, I really loved the character and I really loved, you know, kind of like the world that she's getting into. I think it all was like really different for me as an actress, but it was a really fun experience. How does Rebecca feel about Ranfield? And can you talk about their evolution of their relationship throughout the film? Yeah. I mean, I think uh, Rebecca has never met anyone like Renfield in a world where I think she is really, you know, she's quite disillusioned with everything that's going on around her. I think inside she wants justice. She wants to do what's right, but she doesn't go about that well. Whereas Renfield also shares that quality where he wants to do what's right, but he, uh, you know, is, is weak and hasn't left, you know, this, this horrible toxic lifestyle. Um, and I think in that way, their relationship really made sense that there's something pure within that. Um, and obviously, you know, like Nick Holt is, is such an amazing leading man. So that was a really, you know, it was fun to have that relationship with him too. I think Chris McKay is the perfect director to, to do Renfield. I love his uh, blend of practical and, uh, and digital yes. effects. I think they're, it's brilliant. Can you talk to me about what his directing style added to Renfield? Chris, you know, his, his background is super interesting. I think he's a great director. He comes from also, you know, kind of an, an editing space as well. And so the way that he shoots, um, you know, he's he's very, very de detailed and precise. He knows exactly what he wants, but he also really trusts his his actors. You know, like, I think we all felt really free to riff um, if there was any, like, time where, like, a line might have not have made sense with the, the scene. That he was always amenable to that. And I think um, what, what was cool about him is, is that, like, he'd, he'd see something interesting or fun and he'd, he'd make shots do that. So he was really, like, prepared to... Um, just just take things as they go. And I think that was that was a really fun way of watching how someone makes a movie. I know you've done a lot of action stuff in Shang-Chi, but there's a ton of action in this film. Um, can you talk to me about working with the stunt team uh, to bring uh, your character to life uh, with the action sequences? Yeah, we had an amazing stunt team led by uh, Chris Brewster, who, you know, th th those guys, those guys were were crazy. They did all kinds of stuff. And um, yeah, it was a different level, I think. Um, because of, of Chris's use of practical effects and also there, you know, there were quite a lot of like, uh, a lot of blood, a lot of, um, you know, s like smoke squibs and things going off. Um, and so like working in that environment, there's something really cool because like, it, it's almost like how they used to make movies back in the day. And it's not all kind of like tennis ball work. Everything is really happening in front of you. So there is it, it, it when, when they go off, it's scary, you know? So, uh, yeah, I, it was it was really fun. Really yeah. And fun. a part of that, that's that's part of the reason why I love this movie so much. Like I said, it really blends everything together and it has a lot of heart with a great story. But Aquafina, thank you so much for your time. Incredible job on this film. I really appreciate thank it. You.